Hello, I'd like to welcome you back to Rooster's Art. I'm working on a, a small project here. And this little pan fish along with the rest of the fish is going to be incorporated in this. This, this is a pastel drawing. And as you can see, you can achieve a good bit of detail with these little pencils. I use these for the small details and I use the regular sticks for the much larger areas. Right now I'm working on the contour of this little pan fish right here. It's, it's pretty simple. You just blend, apply and blend. What I can say about these type of uh, drawings you have to have some reference material if you're going to try to achieve a great deal of detail in them. You have to have it. You can't can't go around not not doing it without having some type of detail, some type some type of reference to go by. You you have to have it. You know. So what I'm doing, I'm putting in the, the different markings that I see on this little panfish, sunfish. They're kind of irregular and I'm placing in black right now on the vertical lines and I'm come back and place the lighter within those lines. I mainly do all my drawings freehand. And sometime you may want to go with a projector. I don't use projectors much, you know, unless I have to or real, real large scale uh, paintings or whatever you may have. And it comes in handy and help you actually work faster. Now I'm coming back with this aqua color to place in the scales. Now, I'm just eyeballing this stuff in. I try to find colorful type subject matters, or subjects, should I say, to incorporate in my paintings or drawings. how I'm working this here. I'm looking at the pattern, how they are. And what I'm doing, I'm, I'm mimicking what I see. Now, the reason why I don't use a projector, and lots of artists do, not saying nothing wrong with it, but it helps you when you do your freehand work, know where to go. If you need a line, you, you can place things in. You don't have to rely on a projector. Like I said, I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm saying you learn how to draw better with starting and doing freehand work. It's best you rely on your natural skills. And if you see something, guess what?
you would be able to uh, complete it. With ease. You wouldn't even have to think about it. Just done. You know the steps to take to achieve it. And you'll probably be more happy with the, the outcome of it. 